Boy, what is up, YouTube? It's your favorite C. Ty Julian, and the anime we're gonna be talking about today is dun 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 dun. And this anime opening is lit as hell. And this opening got me to watch the anime. My boy Creepy Nuts be going crazy. Creepy Nuts does not miss. And Creepy Nuts is the exact word I'll use to describe this show, dun dun dun, bruh. Cause these creepy ass aliens be on straight Diddy timing, and these creepy Diddy aliens be getting their nuts munched on in this show. This anime dun 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 is weird as hell, but this show's been lit so far. And I don't know why, but dun dun dun's art style. And story so far, Loki reminds me of Fully Cooley. I don't know why, and just like Fully Cooley, this show is not serious, bruh. I don't know what Donadon's about. So we start out Donadon with the main MC Momo talking to her bummy ass future McDonald's employee of the month ass boyfriend. If you ain't gonna lend me no cash, I ain't taking you on no date. I know his 1.2 GBA ass was feeling like this after saying that dumb ass shit. Chat, you do not want to be like Lil Bro. You put out, I'll take you wherever. Like a love hotel. Did this nigga say you'll take her to a love hotel for the first date? Like they're freshmen in high school. They're minors. And the only place he's willing to take her is a love hotel. And the crazy thing is, but you're paying for it. She has to pay for it. Bro is straight pimping her. So Momo's tired of getting disrespected and hits this nigga with a roundhouse kick. And this YN catch the kick with ease. That shit did no damage. And Momo's throwing more haymakers and he's catching all of that shit and pushes her. And just like a pimp named Slipback, bro puts his hands on her and pushes her to the ground. So she's walking on mad to class and she she sees this dweeb getting a bunch of paper thrown at him. Bro's just taking it, reading his goon journal, while a bunch of sticky paper balls are getting thrown at him. And they put in attachments on that bitch. Bro put a magnet in the paper ball, is winding up to throw that shit like the Beast Titan. And Momo pulls up and shuts all of that down. What are you reading? Oh, a goon journal? Why are all the pages so sticky? That's just my glue stick. So Momo's walking through the halls like Dopamingo, and she looks over and she sees the dweeb again. You read my goon journal, so you're a gooner too. That's the reason you talk to me, because you're a gooner like me. I'm not a gooner, I'll just be being nice to you so I can get on your good side. So when you blast up the school, you won't blast me too. And the dweeb shows Momo his goon journal and shows a bunch of aliens and saying how they're real. And they both make a deal to pull up to the scary locations with the aliens. And if they don't, one of them has to be their gopher. So Momo pulls up to the yard and this shit is a whole insane asylum. So Momo, did he pull up to the yard? I know some meat there. Yes, I pulled up to the yard and why is this music playing? This is so scary. Lunar aliens are in there and you're bound to get Diddy by one. Diddy by what? This high school freshman really pulled up to an arc insane asylum by herself with just an iphone flashlight momo's literally playing outlast and my boy ken put up to this state all by himself and momo and ken are facetiming each other while making their way through the haunted map and ken is making his way through the tunnel and he pulls up on his grandma and this bitch is on straight freaky diddy timing let me gobble your dog gobble on what this old bitch is a straight eater let me gobble your dog Granny Turbo has to be possessed by Sarah J because they're both on that freaky guilt timing. And I know what you guys are thinking. Yes, you, you horny ass gooner. <laughs> And I'm hearing every single one of you guys out. Cause on everyone's soul, we letting Granny Turbo and Sarah J suck the soul out of our dongs. I know they get the most toes curling, eyes rolling to the back, sloppiest top. So my boy Ken starts straight taking off cause bro's not trying to get his dong slobbered on. And Granny easily catches up to that little nigga and slobbers all on his dong. Stop slobbering on my dong, on my toes. This is my first time, I didn't want it to be like that. Nerd, are you alright? Damn it, why is the song getting louder? I need to leave. So Momo tries to escape and then he's in the yard, pull up. And he straight hawk her ass down. And you see how they're pulling on her and shit? They're on straight devious timing. Greetings, freshman yet. You're finally awake. And it's time for us to introduce ourselves. We are Freaklings from the planet Diddy. And we had chained you onto this chair and oiled you up with baby oil. Baby oil? What are you guys gonna do to me? What are we gonna do? A freak off, I'm a freshman. Oh, no. You nasty niggas can't freak off on me. You're gonna catch a case. Bitch, we do not care about age or consent. We are aliens. And your mercy is finna get crushed. When we landed on this planet, we studied on humans. And the humans we studied was EDP 445. Every Minecraft YouTuber that hit a million subscribers. Oh, and Dr. No. Disrespect. And last but not least, our savior and lord, Diddy. Oh, you have never been with you now. I know it's tight and censored. Please forgive me for the curse dub over y'all made me did. But what the hell is Dondanon about? And what type of first episode is that? Everyone's talking about how peak Dondanon is, so I pull up and watch the first episode excited as hell. Just to see these freaky ass aliens try to fit to this freshman girl in the first episode. This shit is trash, I'm not trying to see that. So now the freaky aliens are putting her in a genjutsu to get her aroused. Freak off, freak off, freak <laughs> off, freak <laughs> off, freak <laughs> off. So bro's getting diddy and bro's dende is modified, got a whole bunch of spikes and sticks like bro but thank god she got saved who dare interrupt it on freak off your phone linging your phone linging yo bro answer the phone so we can get back
to running a train on his freshman yet. How you know pick up your phone? I'm sorry, but your girl's busy, little bro. She's with the freaky aliens now. Rainy Turbo comes off the phone kicking the alien, and she's on straight demon time, and the first thing she does is go for the nuts. Chops on the alien's nuts and sends it flying. So the aliens reveal their true form and starts blasting at Granny Turbo. So Granny Turbo chomps the head off of one of the aliens and tries to speed blitz the other. And the alien blows Turbo back and bro's still trying to crush. Momo, like bro, these aliens are straight devious, bruh. So Momo ends up unlocking her medium powers and becomes a telekinesis and hits the alien with a roundhouse kick and sends the Diddy alien flying into a UFO. So it turns out when Kim was in the tunnel, Granny Turbo ended up possessing him and put her curse on bro and bro's clicking out. So Granny Turbo disappears and the UFO ends up crashing into the building. Causes the explosion and the UFO lands and they're both A-OK. -okay. And Momo finds out that bro has the same name as her celebrity crush, Ken Takakura. And I'm not gonna cap, that was one of the best first episodes in anime history. So she takes him to her crib and he pulls up to the crib and instantly gets burnt. She got bro looking like Gucci third leg. Y'all boys already know when you trying to sneak a link into Shadi's crib, you gotta pop that fire resistance. So she throws Okuro to the water to cool off. And now bro has 4C hair with a low taper fade. I did not know my boy Okuro was one of us. So the reason bro got burnt was because she got a seal in her house. So she takes it off and bro enters the crib. And that seal keeps demons away and since there's no seal, a demon pulls up and claps his cheeks. And the demon tries to punch Okuro and Momo and they dodge out the way. And now they're both booking it, sprinting away from the demon. So Giga nigga ends up hitting them with backshot air and sends them flying. And while the sumo demon is doing emotes, Momo finds a way for Okuro to use Granny Turbo's powers. And the Giga nigga sumo lets off an attack and my boy Okuro dodges it and comes out the smoke with his new transformation, surging with overwhelming power. And this transformation character design is fire as hell. I mess with it, it's tough, but when he's in his transformation, he turns into a straight emo nonchalant dreadhead. This dude is so nonchalant that him and Shikamaru have the same dub voice actor. Yo, you trying to beat this giga nigga, yo? I ain't gonna cap on my switch cheese myself. Want me to shake my dress? <laughs> Shit. And Momo's getting the it cause this dude Okarun is a straight dweeb, he pulls no bitches. And now since he got this cool ass transformation, he wanna act like a total nonchalant dreadhead. That pulls all the hugs. And Momo's kicking him in his nuts, telling him to stop. Like, that, it's me off. like why is she getting so pressed for? Her type is literally bum hood niggas. So Okarun pulls up to the giga his dende, and the sumo demon claps his cheats on Okarun, and Okarun dodges and bites all his fingers off, and we get a full shot of bro's form, and that shit looking tough as hell, one of the best forms in new gen already, but his form Loki look like the jaw titan and a demon dog breeded with each other, so Gig and Okarun start staring each other down, they get into a little staring contest, and this dude Okarun straight up foes, starts coughing up blood, then the sumo demon straight slaps this dude, and then Giga nigga starts stopping this Okarun out, bruh, straight violating my man Okarun, this dude loads up a stomp and is about to end oak room but momo uses her telekinesis powers to get him out of there but that doesn't change the fact bro took a huge l so oak room transform and momo and oak room start sprinting at the sumo and the sumo lets out a big stomp and my boy oak room straight up speed blisses bro and takes his leg out and bro ends up regenerating and bro's on straight demon time bro grabs momo throws her to a wall and punches her leaving a big ass crater then bro starts spamming a bunch of punches this dude straight up starts or or barraging momo bro really hit her with a stand barrage and my boy hit his straight bamboozle that sumo demon straight molly wop momo's ass and it turns out momo's a-okay -okay and she ends up burning the gig and the smithereens momo and okarun defeated the demon and it blacks out and momo's on the ground unconscious and granny Turbo has taken over okarun's body and this guilt is on straight demon time touching momo all weird and i'm watching this like damn can they give my girl a break so granny turbo's feeling down on momo's leg and picks her up and an l comes in flying and hits granny turbo in the head and the grandma i like to fuck pulls up granny say Go. And that was Gilf versus Gilf and Granny Turbo tries to speed bliss Granny Seiko and Granny Seiko ends up burning her ass. Off rip and I'm like damn I did not know Granny Seiko was burning like Danae Davis. But let's be real here. I do not care that Granny Seiko's burning. I am still hitting that shit raw. F is you talking about? I know that old hole of hers is fiery. But Granny has aged like fine wine. And I'm straight diving in that fiery pussy with no hesitation. It's 100% worth taking that risk. Granny Seiko is too goddamn fine. I'll gladly get burnt by her. So Granny Seiko is straight walking down Granny Turbo, swinging her bat. And Granny Seiko starts molly whopping Granny Turbo with the bat, hitting grand slams on her ass. Burns her, and Momo wakes up and she goes downstairs. She sees Granny Seiko's fine ass. And oh my gosh, this is the baddest anime waifu we've seen in a long time. I know her R34 about to go crazy, but we really gotta talk about Granny Seiko. Because she has the potential to take Lady Tsunade's spot as the sexiest goop in 
in all of anime. And Granny Seiko's about that action. She pulled up to the yard by herself. And she went toe to toe with Granny Turbo, fused with the bound spirit. And now my boy Okarun is on his training arc, and my boy got a tinkle. So they're chasing this dude down to the bathroom. And y'all boys already know if Granny Seiko was chasing me to the bathroom like that, we're gonna be on that R. Kelly prison school Kiyoshi and Hana type time, and we're peeing on each other. So they're watching my boy take a shit, and Granny Turbo just pulls up talking crazy. Pull up to the yard, Papa. I'm gonna suck the soul out of his little dog. So they pull up to the yard and a whole at normal titan is blocking the tunnel way. Bro came straight from AOT. So two titans pull up and start sandwiching them. And Momo pulls out the baseball bats and flings it at the titan's eyes and they eat that shit up. So my boy Okarun transforms and he instantly de-transforms. And the titan heads are about to munch on their shit. But Momo remembers that Granny Seiko told her to taunt Granny Turbo. And she does and Momo challenges Granny Turbo to a race. And Granny Turbo assesses it because she thinks she's the fastest grandma in the whole universe. So Granny Turbo gives them a 10 minute head start and they start booking it but Granny Turbo ends up cheating and she grabs Momo and captures her and there's only one way my boy Okarun can save Momo and he does the unthinkable this <laughs> starts munching on Granny Turbo's eeks and out of boy Okarun's already an S tier character nah but what the hell is going on my boy Okarun is really gobbling on her old saggy eeks I don't like both you little bastard you should do that now oh you should no. me bro she really wanna lick on a miner's dog and let him bite her eeks this freaky ass show, what the hell is Donna not even about? My boy Okarun is sucking on the eek spinning like a damn helicopter. My boy is sucking on the eek spinning like a damn blade blade. But sucking on the eeks is all it took to free Momo. And they capture Granny Turbo. And then Mr. Krabs pulls up out of nowhere. So Momo and Okarun take off again. And Mr. Krabs is on their ass. So my boy Okarun transforms and he blasts his way out of there. And this nonchalant dreadhead starts rising up. Bad news, babe. Hey, don't you go call me, babe. So my boy Okarun takes off and jumps off a cliff and him and Momo land on the city street and Mr. Krabs comes go? crashing down on them. So they gotta take off again and my boy Okarun is straight slaving. Momo's riding him like a horse. So they pull up to the spot and Momo uses her telekinesis powers and straight up cuts this <laughs> Mr. Krabs. So they hop out the spot and they're immediately surrounded by demons and they start chasing them. So Momo and Okarun gotta run away again and these demons possessed by Granny Turbo are on their ass hawking them down and Momo so my boy Okron transforms and he goes all out and they get out of Dodge. They are finally safe. They can drink a nice cool Pokori sweat. No, they are not out of Dodge at all. Mr. Krabs comes out of nowhere and crashes down from the sky. So Momo throws a car at this <laughs> and Okoro proceeds to climb up Mr. Krabs. And they start swinging like Spider-Man and flings themselves to a safer location and they crash down. So they think they all safe and Granny pulls up and starts giving them straight hands. Kicks both of them to the ground, knocks them out cold. And Granny Turbo is posted up with all her goons and demons. And this bitch starts fusing with the bounce spirit, Mr. Krabs. It turns into a whole Final Fantasy X boss. So Momo latches onto the train and Granny Turbo is chasing right after them and hops on the train and Momo ends up blowing this old bitch up with her telekinesis powers and they pull up back to the yard and pray cause what the hell was this cursed show even about